Tinnitus always related to ear problem or there are any hidden problems uh, which is connected to brain. Yeah, tinnitus to a significant degree is also connected with hearing loss, especially when the inner ear is being affected, where the cochlear regions are being affected. It is known as the cochlear uh, uh, loss or the sensory neural loss where the nerve and the cochlea are being involved because the hair cells mm. get affected. The hair cells are not dead, but they become inefficient in their oh. functioning. So they produce a certain sort of a sound, which is not a synchronous sound. Okay. Normally when we hear a sound, it is a synchronous sound. Mm. Like your piano, you have the uh, reeds mm. and when you play the reeds, you hear a synchronous sound. Mm. But one of the reed is not functioning, it produces an abnormal sound. Okay. So sometimes the hair cells are malfunctional. Because of the malfunctional, they produce the harmonics of the frequencies, which are not the related synchronous. Okay. This goes to the auditory cortex and the same representation of the cochlea is there in the auditory cortex. Thereby, the auditory cortex finds that this is an abnormal sound and it gets exaggerated. So that is how it happens. And majority of the patients, as I told you, that the high, very high frequencies which you are not able to do the audiometric test also have the effect upon this one. Okay. Apart from this, uh, most of the people, because of stress develop hmm. and anxiety, they develop tinnitus. Hmm. A greater population, if the anxiety and the stress is being controlled hmm. by behavior therapy, by counseling, by tinnitus retraining therapy, a lot of people get a lot of benefit. So it is also stress related, year related and also related to several other medical conditions like oncology patient because of certain chemotherapy, hmm. they start getting tinnitus much uh, okay. earlier than the hearing loss. Hmm. So people who are on autotoxic drugs hmm. also develop tinnitus. So a close monitoring is required, especially in the endocrinology population hmm. in the middle age and in the higher ages. Tinnitus sets to uh, begin and it can be controlled basically if uh, the proper medication is also being controlled and the patient seeks the <coughs> medical health hmm. checkup at the earliest. So it is related to the ear plus it is idiopathic and it is also related to the psychological factors.